Thirteen hundred hours, Pakistan Standard Time. Assalamu alaikum. This is Radio Pakistan. The news read by Hassan Gilani. First, the headlines. Foreign Minister has reiterated that Kashmir dispute cannot be solved by the use of force. Pakistan has once again launched strong protest with India over ceasefire violations by the occupation forces along the line of control. In Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, the All Parties Hurriyat Conference has called for a protest strike after Juma prayers today against killing of five innocent Kashmiris. Advisor to Prime Minister on Finance says present government is continuing with reforms in tax system to make it transparent through automation. And now the news in detail. Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi has reiterated that Kashmir dispute cannot be solved by the use of force. In a statement in Islamabad today, he said, strategy of India, which has been using force against the Kashmiri people for the past seven decades, has totally failed. The Foreign Minister said India tried to use force to gag the voice of the Kashmiris through draconian laws and restrictions. There is no precedent of the atrocities that have been committed in Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir since August 5 last year. He made it clear that India cannot succeed in resolving the dispute by these atrocities. A senior Indian diplomat was summoned to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs today to register Pakistan's strong protest over ceasefire violations by the Indian occupation forces along the line of control yesterday, resulting in serious injuries to three innocent civilians. Condemning the deplorable targeting of innocent civilians by the Indian occupation forces, it was underscored that such senseless acts are in clear violation of the 2003 ceasefire understanding and are also against all established humanitarian norms and professional military conduct. The Indian diplomat was told that these egregious violations of international law reflect consistent Indian attempts to escalate the situation along the line of control and are a threat to regional peace and security. In Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, the All Parties Hurriyat Conference has called for a protest strike today against killing of five innocent Kashmiris. In a statement in Srinagar, the APHC spokesman termed the killing of innocent Kashmiris by the troops during cordon and search operations as heinous acts and demanded probe by an international investigation agency into these incidents. The APHC spokesman urged people to hold protest after Friday prayers outside the mosques to convey a loud and clear message to India. Advisor to Prime Minister on Finance Abdul Hafiz Sheikh has said present government is continuing with reforms in tax system to make it transparent through automation. He was speaking at a ceremony to release tax directory and hold balloting for audit of the taxpayers in Islamabad today. Hafiz Sheikh said, Two committees comprising FPR officials and representatives of the business community have been constituted on complaints against FPR and issue of refund to facilitate the taxpayers. He said basic objective of tax collection is to provide better basic facilities of life like portable water, health, education and infrastructure. Minister of State for Parliamentary Affairs Ali Muhammad Khan says due to prudent policies of the government and blessings of Allah, Pakistan has curtailed spread of COVID-19. Replying to a question during questionnaire, he said the world has acknowledged Pakistan's efforts to overcome the pandemic. To another question, he said 140 million persons were assisted financially through SAS emergency cash program. Minister for Federal Education Shafkat Mahmood told the House that Prime Minister has directed to aware students about the life of Holy Prophet Hazrat Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Khatim al -Nabin. He said that this is he said in this regard, out of nine, three seated chairs have been established in different public sector universities. Chairman China Pakistan Economic Corridor Authority Asim Salim Bajwa has said Record stay order by World Bank Tribunal on six billion US dollars award against Pakistan is a great relief. In a tweet today, he said Prime Minister Imran Khan has directed to fully support government of Balochistan for accelerated development of mineral sector in a transparent manner and structured system. 
Pakistan and China have agreed to boost cooperation in transport sector. At a meeting with Pakistani ambassador to China, Muinul Haq in Beijing, Chinese Minister for Transport Li Xiaopeng expressed satisfaction over the state of bilateral cooperation in the transport domain. He reiterated China's complete support for joint efforts to forge even stronger multimodal linkages. In his remarks, Muinul Haq said bilateral cooperation in the transport sector is a long-standing pillar of bilateral cooperation that has been given a new impetus through the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor. China has said that it is conducting military exercises near the Taiwan Strait. Talking to media, Defense Ministry spokesman Ren Qingguang said the action is necessary to safeguard national sovereignty due to the current situation in the region. And this is the end of the news. For more news and analysis, log on to our website radio.gov.pk and also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link facebook.com slash radiopakistan newsofficial.